the most powerful resource that we have is really something beyond our rebellion, beyond our teachers. A culture of a school is really created by the students. And here we are so blessed. Our upperclassmen have created a tone, as a tenor in the way they speak, a way they comport themselves, the way that they daven, the way that they pursue extra learning opportunities. They have created a culture in the school that makes the younger boys want to come in and emulate them. They know where they're headed and that has been a great influence and it's created really what the Masifta student is. The school is incredible. I and mean, we started with this tiny little group of boys who managed to make a school. They managed to find each other and become a cohesive unit and work their way through it. And they made sure that every teacher they came in contact with gave them everything they could and they took all of the knowledge they possibly could. I think one thing that's really unique and special about Masifta is the teacher's ability to specialize their teaching to the individual of the classroom. I didn't really think that a high school, which has a lot of other things to deal with, would just tailor a schedule just for me and accommodate to specifically my needs. And when they did that, it really made me feel like I belonged here. We offer 33 core classes here at the Masifta on the secular side. Even with that, I believe that that doesn't necessarily state or meet all students' needs. And so we've created partnerships with universities, online schools, and internships and research opportunities to allow our students to grow in additional ways. The skill development over the course of a year is so noticeable. And the ability to, even though it's the second half of the day, they're able to lock in, draw inferences from the text. And I really believe it is the discipline that they have and the really incredible amount of practice they get in the religious side in the morning that actually pays dividends for an afternoon in the English classroom. The proudest aspects of our Torah learning are not even things that we as Rebbeim promoted in an environment where boys feel empowered, where they feel that their abilities in Torah learning are brought to their potential, they shine on their own. Our Night Seder program is entirely grassroots, and we have numerous boys coming out every night of the week to study extra Torah, and that's one of the proudest things we have at the Masifta. Specifically for Night Seder, we talked to a few Rebbeim and we told them our idea, and they thought it was a great idea. We have kids coming to Night Seder who are taking three APs and on the basketball team, and they still have like, time to come to Night Seder. When's the time that we're going to be able to develop a commitment to Torah, if not during high school? The respect that the boys have for each other is something that we're so proud of that it doesn't matter your age. Right when you come in through these doors, you're part of the Masifta family and that is at the end of the day what really matters. It's one thing to say that, you know, hey, uh, freshman, you know, look up to your Rebbe who's davening really well. Look up to your Rebbe who thinks that learning is really important. That's obvious, but it's not as impactful as when you could say, no, look at this guy who's just a few years older than you, but who you think the world of, because he's also the star of the basketball team, and he's making extra time during school, and he's making extra time out of school to learn, and he's davening seriously, and he's not talking during Chazar Sashats. It, it has a huge impact when you have the ability to actually look up to these elder classmen who are, I think, really setting the tone and creating the culture that this is what the Masifta is about, and this is what we do here. I think the typical Masifta student is respectful. I, I feel when a teacher walks into the room, I feel just a nonverbal recognition of respect that kind of gets exuded by how they exchange greetings and a recognition of somebody who is interested in working with them is here and present. And there's a greeting by most coming into the classroom and then when they exit, they say thank you. I walk out often through dinner and the place is alive with conversation and laughing and joking and clearly this is a community that has formed and gelled in a really wonderful way. What I think is the hallmark of Masivta is that these are truly good boys. They care for each other and they reach out when there is a concern or a need. I have boys giving up their study halls or their free periods where they could 
you know, get their AP stat homework done, staying and tutoring underclassmen because they genuinely want to see their success. You can't manufacture that. I can't teach that. That comes from home and that comes from this community and that level of care is unmatched. Well, I have an amazing grid. I came to America three years ago and I couldn't imagine a better, a better grade for myself. They're nice, they're friendly, they help you in, in every step you take. They're amazing friends. Now that we have a couple years of graduates, we're witnessing a beautiful phenomenon that the boys are itching to come back as soon as they can. They return from Israel or they have an off weekend. We've had students come back, they go right away to visit their Rebbe, they come back to the school. And I think we all go back to places that make us feel most understood and most supported. The alumni came back from Eretz Israel. They wanted to give chaburas to the current students in the Sifta because they felt a tremendous sense of love for Torah, the love that they got in the Masifta, and they wanted to share that with the current Talmudim as well. I think the reason they keep feeling connected to this place is it feels like home. They have found their sea legs here, and this is a place that they can continue to use as a touchstone to understand themselves and know that they are always supported. Their education didn't stop after four years. They're part of the Masifta family. There's a strong common denominator in that our students seem to take life seriously, and they take Torah seriously, and they take Chesed seriously, and they take their families seriously, they take their Eretz seriously, they take their Mido seriously, but that becomes manifest in, in different ways for different guys. Where a less trained educator may not see in a child the potential, the ability, a higher trained educator, a Rebbe who really sees what a Talmud can achieve, sees greatness. Chanoch Lenar al Pidarko, it's Lenar. Each child, each student, for what he is, where someone else will see limitations, we see a unique approach to education, to teaching. We don't have classes, we don't have groups. Every student at the Masift is a first name. Each student has his own way of learning, and each one will be taken to his full potential. Oh, 